सिंपली आई टेक वन अपॉन टू साइन एक्स माइनस वन एंड आई नीड टू फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ दिस फंक्शन राइट सो आई विल स्टार्ट इन द सेम वे सो अगेन साइन एक्स इज बाउंडेड सो वैल्यू ऑफ साइन एक्स विल बिटवीन माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू माइनस टू this is 2 sin x and this is 2 and then minus 1 so this is minus 3 this is 2 sin x minus 1 and this is 1 now i need to take a reciprocal of 2 sin x minus 1 now the problem here is now the problem here is one of the number is negative and the other number is positive so even if i take a reciprocal if i write 1 upon 2 sin x minus 1 and if i change the sign So one upon one is one, and this minus one by three. So actually, it doesn't make sense because this one upon two sine x minus one cannot be greater than one and less than minus one by three at the same time. So this is actually wrong. Now, how do we solve such question when I have a negative number on one side and a positive number on another side? So this question can be solved by taking two separate cases. Case one, when two sine x minus one. Is a negative number, so it is greater than or equal to minus three, but less than zero negative. Now zero negative is a negative number which is nearly zero, like minus point zero 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 zero, and it goes on. So a very small negative number. Now if I take a reciprocal, now since both the numbers are negative, now I can take reciprocal. So minus one by three is greater than or equal to one upon. 2 sin x minus 1 and it is given now 1 upon 0 negative is actually minus infinite now this is obvious right so any number is greater than minus infinite so i'll simply write this as so this is your fx so fx is less than or equal to minus 1 by 3 now the second case is when i take 2 sin x minus 1 as a positive number say for example Zero positive, so again a number which is just greater than zero. So two sin x minus one and less than or equal to one. So again now since now since both the numbers are positive, so I'll take a reciprocal. So if I take a reciprocal, I'll get one. One upon zero positive is infinite. Change the sign. One upon two sin x minus one and then greater than or equal to one. So this is obvious. So every number is less than positive infinity. So I'll simply write this as f x is greater than or equal to one. So the range of this function will be your function f x is either less than minus one by three, so it is from minus infinite to minus one by three, and minus infinite not included and minus one by three included. You cannot include infinite or minus infinite union from one to infinite. So from one and then from infinite. And again, one included and infinite, not included. So range of this function is either the value of this function is less than minus one by three, or greater than one. So this is how we actually solve it.